What's cracking, big dogs? Shut the fuck up. My my chair is so squeaky. They can't hear it. Don't worry. What's cracking, big dogs? And they say I'm the one. We come to you because <laughs> you are. I'm not. Humbly, we come to you broken. We come to you deeply impacted by the coronavirus that is supposedly upon us. I haven't seen it yet, so I don't know if it's a real thing or not. It's a real thing. America is telling us that it's a real thing. Animal, that shit needs to stop ASAP. I was checking your vitals. For the, <laughs> how am I doing? You looking fox? <laughs> For the first time ever, we have to do the Fade the Public podcast without remotely. being physically together, remotely, as Snacks would use in his high risk vocabulary over there. Animal has a really weird face you just put on. Like I don't know. I got like a bunch of messages just popped up on my screen. Oh yeah, what happened? Anything? Any news? I what? can't see it. Why would you get a bunch of messages that just you mean you can't up see it at you once? Just saw it. You literally just saw it. Well, it was the text messages popping up on my computer, and then but your your guys' faces are covering it, so I couldn't read it. It's okay. Let's go. Keep going. Don't worry. Okay. Well, uh, no, drop a comment if you don't if you don't believe Animal because I don't either. Today we're gonna do a mock draft. We're gonna do a fade the public mock draft. We're gonna do Superflex version one, version one beta. 12-team Superflex mock draft. We're probably going to do the first three rounds because if we try to do any longer, we'll end up talking for 16 fucking hours. And honestly, at this point, you guys might enjoy that because there's literally nothing else to do. We're going to try our best to keep it concise, keep it precise, keep it coronavirus-free. Fade the public, mock draft, V1, beta. Scott? Scott! You know what to do. The intro. The intro. <laughs> he knew that, Adam. <laughs> you dumb motherfucker. <laughs> All right. Let's start. Let's start. I, I'm screaming. I'm screaming. All right. As We've chosen. Excited. As chosen. I'm excited. Why are you excited? I've no. I, I've been up. I feel like since five. I, I think I slept for one hour last night. Wait, animal, animal. Do we bring out the worst in you? Because when we're in person, you're never this jubilant. Uh, you're by, you're by I, yourself. I Is it don't like know what that kind of word? Thing? Like, what, yeah, you gotta stop throwing out words that you don't even know what they mean. <laughs> jubilant, like happy, like like jubilee, like. Uh, as long as you can throw, as long oh. as you can throw Jew in the in the front of it, you love yeah, it. Yeah, huh? you're good. That's see, that's not that's not funny. That's not that. funny. All right, so I was chosen by the big dogs to have the 101 for this mock draft. Here's and just I, gonna. I'm I'm gonna give them some more preface. You guys need to you guys need to understand context. We have to let the audience know what the fuck is going on. It's 12 teams. The other nine teams are going to be computer generated. But the picks are going to be based off of current ADP from FFPC drafts. So they are money leagues that have been drafted up to this point. So they're real, but sleepers ADP is not fucking up to date. So we can't actually use the data on their site because it would start drafting David Johnson at the 107. And, uh, and we are anti-David Johnson here. So if David Johnson sniffs the top three rounds, we've got a problem. And Animal has the 101. Snacks has the 106. I have the 111 based on people on Instagram. We went live uh, an hour or so ago. That was honestly, we went live so long ago that we basically yeah. filmed like three episodes already. It feels, it feels yeah, like it was awesome. before we were on quarantine. Yeah, <laughs> for real. Uh, so make sure you're following us over on Twitter at Big Dogs Fantasy. I believe Twitch is also at Big Dogs Fantasy. We're going to start streaming a lot more video game things yeah i got the uh the webcam is on its way by the time you see this video i should have it hopefully no if you ordered it through anything besides amazon I you're know. probably it said four like, four business days so i'll probably get it yeah. like fucking four business what about corona days they need to start putting like the corona days Ooh. for shipping on sites mm. that's what it's going to end up being so 12 team super flex mock draft redraft not dynasty no rookie shit animal 101 you are on clock. So I am going to take bad pick Christian McCaffrey with the 101. It is too obvious. It's too easy. I can't go against Christian McCaffrey. I know you guys want me to make the same mistake I made last year. <laughs> Alvin Kamara. But I'm not going to do it. Okay. Let's go. I am a wise man now. I have learned. I've grown. There's really no difference for Christian McCaffrey other than upgrade at the quarterback position. So. Let's talk about this for a second. They just signed Robbie Anderson. Obviously, they're completely different playmakers. Doesn't matter. My question is, is there a debate to be had at the 101? I don't think so. 
I don't think there is anything. Hold on, no. hold on, hold on, hold on. Because the first time we filmed this, Animal took Saquon <laughs> Barkley, and you were like, "I'm taking Saquon Barkley one on one." So oh, how, I was, I was how, fucking around. No, no, I, I was fucking around. I'm also so you, biased, so it doesn't. So that you doesn't, would take C Mac. So C Mac, I feel like C Mac is the consensus one hundred and one, and then is, you can have an argument be. for one hundred and two, one hundred and three. Yes, you'll really? get to the argument really? after that. But C-Mac is we have eight months between when now and the season gets canceled that people are going to argue about Saquon Barkley being the 101 and it just it's not it doesn't need to be a thing no yeah. it doesn't but I do have a question I, I was fucking around I, of course I'm taking C-Mac 101 before we really started as Max did say he was taking Barkley he yeah did. he selected him in the first I have the screen <laughs> right. so but I, I would like to know why no proof like, and then happened. you said and then, and then he comes out here and he says it's obvious so yeah. explain yourself so I want to hear an explanation. I just told you there's he's he's literally the same player he was last year on a, a team with an upgraded quarterback. So I don't Juan think Barkley. Why would you pick why him? Were first? You taking- oh, why did I pick him for? I don't know. To be honest with you, I didn't. So actually, you I didn't. Did. I never. I never took Saquon Barkley. There's no proof. If you can prove it, then yeah, I'll t- I'll confess to it. But I never did it. Still, wasn't that uh, on IG Live? No, he deleted it. IG Live is still up. You're fucked. Yeah, it never happened on IG Live though. So. Yeah, first overall pick, Christian McCaffrey. Let's move on to the second pick. Let's just move right. along from this. So between now and when Snacks picks, it's going to be computer-generated from ADP actual money drafts if Animal knows how to use his computer. So we got Saquon Barkley with the 102. Just, just fucking go through it. I'm just going to go off of this list here. Ezekiel Elliott at it's the 103. So. Yeah, I know. I got you. A Mr. Patrick Mahomes. So that leaves me up on the clock. I see you're correct. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to – I would take – and I know there's there's a new offense there, but I don't think anything's going to change. And as long as he stays healthy, he's putting up monster numbers. i probably take him 103. I'm taking Dalvin Cook at 106. The man falls to me there, and I am saying a prayer to St. Joseph, and I'm living a great life, and Dalvin Cook's going to run the ball about a thousand times. Animal, little, that ADP okay. has Alvin Kamara going before Cook and Lamar Jackson in Superflex? Uh, they're right next to each other. Cook is five. You Kamara. just can't get away from Kamara, can you? Cook I is personally five, like so Kamara. Why would you take Kamara five? I'd like Kamara better, I think, this year. I think Cook is... But it's know. not your pick. Alvin <laughs> Kamara! <laughs> Why? Well, you told me to use my judgment. I told you to use ADP if it was, like, sensible. Oh! Like use that's the fucking, it's one he's five he's six that's fucking it's so use the one that's use the normal one but don't be like I said use it in case you need to pivot off of like Josh Allen who is the 18th pick overall on this shit like you don't need to put him there yeah but I mean four or five that's but it's not up to you to like switch guys if there's something that's if there's something that's out of bounds that's like this shouldn't be there <laughs> went to the computer I didn't even really pick it. You literally physically picked it. Yeah, but it's not for me. I'm just picking his 4-5. At the end of the day, I'm getting the steal of the first round. So. Well, because Dalvin Cook shouldn't be drafting. <laughs> he shouldn't be falling to five, and Snacks would have a good decision on his hands. I would. I had an easy one there. I can't. Animal, you're out of control. How? There's still... Snacks, did I not say this? The number one wide receiver. Yeah, we did. Sports. But Max, I literally said when we get on. Snacks, he's going to do some dumb shit. The number one wide receiver is still on the board. Why did he take Dalvin Cook? I because he's he's he's... Could be top two running back. Why wouldn't I? I'm taking that over a receiver. Fade the public is going to go downhill quick <laughs> if we need to be remotely to do this every week. All right. Well, I'm going to keep it going here. So just give me shit for more of these picks. Someone's getting a steal at 108 right there. With uh, Let's see what Animal puts in for 108 before, <laughs> Travis Kelsey. We, de- before we declare that. Travis Kelsey. So we're going we're gonna to fast forward through the regular picks, basically. We'll talk a little bit about the picks that we make, and then at the end, after we pick the first three or four rounds or whatever, then we're going to go back back and break down you know, what we saw in the draft, what we thought Animal did wrong, which is going to be the majority of the discussion. Okay, Nick. This is an easy call. I'm on the clock at 111. Too and easy. You want me to make this pick for you? I don't even know who's on the board. I'm probably just like missing out on, on people. It's very hard to locate like guys because they are they're, the order is all out of whack. I can't I can't think of guys that I like right now. Is it really uh, Kamara at four or five? Is it, they're you, no, you they, would I rather don't have, care. But I'm just saying, go off the fucking ADP. I am, I am. I it am. would make a better discussion if Snacks had to pick between the next six guys. Well, and I not did just that Cook. to be completely honest. I did that because he, I know he picked Cook in the, the first one we were doing, so I figured he would be able to keep that same. 
That was very nice of you, Max. You know, when you put easier it, for him. But when you put I, it that way. That's why I did it. So he could just stay with the same pick and say what he said before and not, you know. That's I how I do I don't it. think he said anything before. Well, what does he ever say? That's a good point. I say enough. Mixon's off the clock. Henry's off the clock. Good for Mixon. I love Mixon this year. You want to trade for him in Dynasty? Yeah, but you won't give me something. We'll never come to an agreement, so it's just not. Because you keep ordering, you keep asking for two downgrades. <laughs> like you send a wide receiver running back for two guys, two wide, a wide receiver running back that are worse than both of the guys that you send. I mean, it's debatable. It's not- I already, I, I told myself I will never enter trade negotiations with you again. <laughs> Ever. Why? We made a great trade. I feel like every trade we made. Very fair. Uh, yeah, we had very good trade. Um, the last two discussions. Experiences. We, the, we did. The last two discussions have been awful, though. I don't know about that. I don't even know. All what right, they were. I'm on the clock at 111. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Tyree Kill. Yes, Tyree Kill. I feel like uh, that was the move. Wide receiver one. Uh, not much is changing there in KC. Demarcus Robinson is gone. Tyree Kill is a fucking specimen that the NFL has never seen before. He is still the wide receiver one paired with the best passing quarterback in the NFL. It's simple. Run wow. It. That would have been a real nice fucking first two rounds for you, Nicky boy. Yeah. Woo. So Nick Chubb, Aaron Jones, a pair of running backs. I'll be honest, I was targeting a running back Nick probably. Chubb if he fell back to me. Uh, but the fact that he didn't, I put myself in a spot where I was... You got no running backs. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a, a lesson to be learned, people. Learn from this right here. Now what is that? I'm not really sure, but when you see all the you know good running backs, the the top tier running backs, it's so going, hard to do this without a list. Gotta, of you got to grab one. Got to grab one. It's bad. You don't have to grab one. Uh, I think like, you could make the case for taking Chubb there instead this of is, Hill. I, they're I, absolutely. I mean, they're one pick away from each other. You could definitely make the case. I think that we look at what happened in E Town Get Down last year. Uh, I had DeAndre Hopkins as my first pick. Tyree Kill as my second pick. I hate to start the draft with back-to-back wide receivers. It kind of puts you in a hole because I got lucky in the fact that I had Aaron Jones as a keeper, and obviously he ended up as an RB1, so I didn't have to worry about drafting uh, a running back in the first couple rounds, but the way that things are shaping up now, you might have to reach a little. A lot of running backs off the board. No quarterbacks off the board yet, which is kind of interesting because you're looking at, in this range, I would say guys like Kyler Murray or Russell Wilson, maybe like the Dak Prescotts, Matt Ryans. A little bit too early for me to get on board with that. So I'm still looking at the positional players, I would say. Um, we have a lot of good wide receivers still on the board. I'm not going to dive into DeAndre Hopkins right now, switching teams. I think De- Devonta Adams is a, a nice, safe floor to pair with a high ceiling guy like Tyreek Hill. I, I could say the same Julio Jones. Uh, I'll take Devontae Adams because he is still in the prime of his career I know Julio kind of is too but there's one of them who's like really really in the prime it ain't the 31 year old wide receiver so we'll go with Devontae here that's the pick I would make too that's fair that's fair okay let's let's I, keep I, it moving I thought you would go somewhere else but I I think that's that's the right pick what do you think I was gonna go with what your fucking boy toy in, in Los Angeles Los Angeles oh Eckler yeah yeah no I, I it's a little too early for me good because I hate him I don't care what you feel about him. I might take him coming up, though. I know. You will. You love him secretly. I fucking hate him. But listen, it's good It's good value. I'm very high on him, even though I hate him. Okay. And Snacky Poo. Where are you? You are on the clock. Oh, oh Fournette. That was, that, was, that was the guy. That was the guy? Damn. That no. sucks. I was going to say, stop fucking lying to my face. <laughs> no, he wasn't the guy. How do we actually feel about Fournette, though? Because, like, part of me kind of likes him, other than, like, the Jaguars have kind of, yeah? He yeah, needs I'm not. Third, He needs to be a third-round pick. Yeah, I don't like him there. I'm I'll not give a, you that. He'll go there, though, based off of last year. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not there's, just, there's just no shot. I, here's what's going to happen. The arguments are just going to be straight for – This is going to be a straight – it's going to be straight regression argument. Yeah. You're, there are people are just going to be like, he has to score more touchdowns because of what yeah. he didn't score last year. And it's like, one, he didn't score because their offensive line is fucking terrible. Two, he's not a good running back outside of breaking a few long runs. He's terrible at like making guys miss. So like those are not guarantees to bounce back. I was, like, there's no fucking way he gets anywhere near that target total. What did he finish as last year? Anyone know what his fantasy ranking was last year? I do not. Seven, eight. I'm going to pull it up. 
I normally leave that stuff to you. Yeah. So, okay. So overall, Leonard Fournette played 15 games, finished as the RB 13. He got a hundred fucking targets and finished as the RB 13. Yeah. That's, that's when, really bad. When he gets 60 targets next year, he's going to be like the RB fucking 20 RB 22, but you're drafting him as your second round pick. Yeah. I, I do like drafting floor earlier on in drafts, but I don't think that Fournette's floor. I, I think his floor is like, I think his floor is a little bit lower than people realize. Like, I don't think he's going to have that many good games to make his floor high enough to where I want to think about him in the second round. He's also got an injury history too. Like I know he was fine last we'll forget year. Forget about it real quick, but like he does. Yeah. He does. Yeah. Like you can't, you can't dismiss previous years before that. So I'm not, you know, he's definitely not on my board. Somebody that's probably been on my board for the last decade now, old reliable. I'm going to pair Dalvin Cook with Julio Jones as my wide receiver one. Just steady floor. You know what you're getting. Guy's a beast. Lock it in. When do you when do we predict Julio Jones to Downfall. stop producing? Do you think like this year he'll have like uh, I mean you drafted him so you don't think that, but I don't do know. Think, do you think it's gonna be like all out of nowhere? Do you or do you think it's gonna be like, you know, one year he just has like twelve hundred yards and next year's like a thousand yards and then you're like, okay, I'm kinda done with Julio. You could call me crazy. I think he is even though we all know about him, he's a star. He's still, to me, well, he feels underrated in in a sense. I could see him going mid thirties, putting up decent production, and I still think he's in the prime, and he's still going to give you wide receiver one numbers. So I have no problem with him being him being my number one. So I feel the same way. I feel like he. I I, I feel only like one of two paths for him. I feel like he's either going to stay around like thirteen hundred, fourteen hundred yards for the next like four fucking years. Yeah. Or he's going to suffer some kind of injury, and then he's not going to come back from it. Like, I could see him having, like, a serious foot injury, like, next year, and then you know the downfall of Julio is there afterwards. Yeah, it's, o- it's always with those feet, too, because there's games where you just watch him limp and he stays in. But, no, I, I, don't, I don't think we're there yet. I think he's still, still top He's, notch. like, too good. He just doesn't he, – he, doesn't he, he is. He's way too good. You know, he's just a specimen. He's just someone that we've never seen in the league before. So, he's, I could see him producing into his mid He's not like He's not like the old Dale. He's going to make these crazy catches or he's going to burn you with three, seven, four. 40 time. He just does everything so great. So. Yeah, he's actually ridiculous. All right, Animal. Uh, let us uh, let us have some content to make fun of you for. <laughs> All right, so I got two picks here, guys. So Miles, Miles Sanders over there. Oh. Look at him. Wow. Yeah, I personally would not do that. Going by the ADP, though, I Definitely do not, not have any faith in him being actual like a – Let me ask you guys, one. Eckler or Miles Sanders? It's got to be Eckler. Eckler. It's Eckler. Eckler, yeah. It's not even and I, 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 despise, I despise. Yeah, and I don't like Eckler, so – that's how much I don't like Miles Sanders, I guess you could say. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take – I already have myself a running back, so I'm going to grab myself a wide receiver. That wide receiver being oh, – see, this is the problem because, like, every bit of me wants to take Mike Evans, but I'm not going to do it because of the whole situation. I don't think you can with Brady, bro. Exactly. That's yeah. why I can't do it. So I'm going to take a guy who I am very high on this year, Mr. Amari Cooper. I am I'm super high on Amari Cooper this year. I think he has potential to be top three wide receiver. Coming back to Dallas with Dak, has that chemistry, that rapport. Mike McCarthy loves to throw the ball, those back shoulder fades that you saw Aaron Rodgers and Randall Cobb and Jordy Nelson do. Why, why, can't, why, can't, why can't Amari Cooper uh, – we'll, we'll say this. Amari Cooper's a great route runner, right? Like one of the best, better ones in the league? I'd say so, yeah. Why can't he be Devontae Adams in that offense? Devontae Adams never presented anything that was truly elite or special outside of chemistry and route running, right? Yeah. For so why, does, why doesn't Amari Cooper have that upside? Some I think Mike McCart. I think he does have that upside. I think some, Mike, that's what I'm saying. Will, I'm making the point for it. Oh, I thought you were asking like why. No, no, no. I'm, I'm saying like the, uh, the, no, I think we talked about this last week. We talked about yeah, no, no, this last week. I love Cooper there. I think that's a great value. I, I think that the range of outcomes for Cooper, I definitely think that he's got a little bit of concern with the injuries that he's dealt with, uh, inconsistency. Mm-hmm. But I think, you know, we might be pretty deep into his career, but he's still very young and he's had like four or five successful years. And I think the ceiling is is still a little bit untapped. And I think, you know, that that's the best comparison I can give. If you're talking about Devontae Adams and look the fit that he had with Mike McCarthy, obviously Aaron Rodgers is a little bit better than Dak Prescott. But – Overall, I just think that that kind of thing would make sense because it's not like Devontae Adams had Julio-type athleticism, and that's the reason that he broke out after his third year or whatever, right? So I think Amari Cooper would fit that role, and I could see Mike McCarthy using him in a similar uh, fashion as Devontae Adams did. Yep, I agree. That's why I'm all over Amari this year. I'm not. (sighs) Well, you're just a bitter Giants fan. So 
I'm going to go with my second pick, or well, my third pick technically. This is a super flex, so I am taking a quarterback, and I'm taking a guy that I think is going to explode. Wow, this year. wow. Listen, yeah, it's, it's, it's so it's, unlike you. It's, it's a good pick. It's, it's, it's one of those It's a great pick. Like, I, I was hoping he was going to come back. Yeah, I, I, well, here's my thing. I have the, on the wraparound here, I'm not going to pick for, you know, 20 picks or whatever. So I got to get my quarterback now, possibly the QB3. So Kyler Murray, I am predicting a big, big uh, step forward this year with the new weapons in DeAndre Hopkins the improvements that they're probably going to make in the offensive line. And Second just, year in, in Kingsbury system. Yeah, just Second year all the- around, you just know that, Kyler, there's, there's room to grow. Yeah. So I'm hopping on the train now. I'm getting involved now. You're doing it too? Because remember, we both said Lamar Jackson, eh, not fans. Both said Kyle Murray, eh, not fans. Yep. Look at you ahead of the curve. Yeah, listen, love that. You, you have I to mean, learn and grow. No, yeah, I'm I mean, with you. I love Kyler this year. I love him. Kyler threw for over 3,700, ran for over 500, 20 yeah. to 12 touchdown interception ratio. His rookie fucking year, it, like in a really terrible team overall. But like that offense is only going to get more explosive. There's just it. And the, you the got a combination of floor and ceiling for him next year is. And you got to figure upgrades are coming in in the draft. So, and offensive line, like, because that's that offensive line still needs work. So. Once they start patching that up together more, this yeah, guy's you got, got you got to love Kyle's happen. outlook. So I think, yeah, I think that's exactly the right pick. I think when we get closer to real drafts, we'll probably start seeing Kyler creep into the second round. I could see, like, if if you ask someone straight up, would you rather have Chris Godwin or Austin Eckler or Kyler Murray in a superflex league? I think looking at the ADP right now, it tells you that it's Eckler, Godwin, Murray. But if you ask someone that question, I think a lot of people would probably side with Murray. In a I would probably side with you know Murray I mean? there. Yeah, so I think uh, once like real drafts start happening and people get more and more invested into this kind of shit, we'll see Murray start to creep up. Uh, he won't get near the Mahomes and Lamar, but he's in that tier like right behind it. Like, who do you uh, think yeah, should yeah, go yeah, here, yeah. Juju or Mike Evans? Neither. That's the problem. It's like then uh, personally for me, I would go AJ Brown. But like, let me look at the ADP real quick. This is where it's going to get like fucked up. Because I also want to match to the teams, too. I don't want to, like, have someone draft three running backs. Yeah, so this guy's looking for a receiver, quarterback, or tight end. Well, yeah. tight end's probably not Tight end. Right. I was going to go Ertz, but, like. Eh. I mean, you can go at Evans here. He's. Who was the other yeah. one that you were looking at? Evans or Juju. This ADP is all fucked up. I don't even see Juju on the list. Yeah, well, he's 15 ADP. 15.8. He's 16 on the ranks. Yeah, fuck that. Which list? On sleepers. Oh, sleepers. I th- I'm looking at the list that Nick sent in the, the chat. Oh, Juju's yeah. deep on he's, he's deep yeah, on that. I think deep. Evans is probably a good one. I think you could make the case for Thielen here, too, now that Diggs is gone. for people. Evans, DJ him. Moore, actually, is I'm probably going to go. Oh, yeah, yeah. DJ Moore makes sense, too. I'll go Evans. There's two fucking guys I was thinking about taking, boys. Sorry, yeah, go, go Moore, Evans, go Thielen, too. Good Christ. Ah. Oh, I'm sure, is- baby. That is – that's that's not – that's not right. Nothing gets past me. That is – that's kind of bullshit, honestly. I mean, if I'm going by this, then I'll just go – Probably throw Kenyon Drake somewhere. Too. He's coming. He's coming. Zach yeah. Ertz? No, fuck that. Take Zach Ertz out of the third round. Take him out. This is a, you know? a tight end yeah. premium ADP. All right, Snacky Poo. Yeah, this is – on the clock. Oh, Singletary Moore. Evans Drake. All right. That's that's solid. That's um uh I tell you, the guy at one one oh five really really loves those running backs. So um you know when we <laughs> the, the the first year <laughs> some people have strategies. Last yeah, year was listen, no running back. Maybe that guy is all all running back. I don't hate it. I love running we have backs. Ten minutes remaining. Don't okay, I, I got plenty of time. <laughs> yeah, I don't. When, <laughs> our first year doing Fade the Public, I had my eyes set on one guy and I rode him all year. And I think with the number, probably the most talented receiver leaving on his team in Stefan Diggs. John Brown? Adam. <laughs> <laughs> John Adam, Brown. Adam Thielen. Adam Thielen is a perfect complement to Julio Jones here. And that's where I'm going to go. Uh, Thielen is a he's a monster. Perfect compliment he's in the fact that he's old as fuck and probably going to be terrible when Julio's good. Okay, no, I don't. I don't think that's the case. I think I think Thielen's a stud. Ah, oh, fuck! I took Dalvin Cook too. I forgot about that. You a Minnesota fan now? No, I'm not a Minnesota. Wow, fan. this guy's just not even paying attention, huh? No, it wasn't that. It's just too too good. Like I I, I see I see great value in Thielen there. So so I, so I think this is, this is a talking point right here. Do you take when you're drafting in a real fantasy draft? Are, are these things that you look at? Do you look at value over 
a situation like that, like it, it, would you skip on Thielen because you already have Cook? Or because uh, he already has good value. Like if I'm going if I'm going in real time, it's gonna be really hard for me too. Cause I like Thielen early first, late second. So if I'm getting him in a twelve team, wait, well, hold on. Almost- repeat that. You like you like Thielen. You said you said like early early third, late second. Sorry. Okay. And I'm almost even talking like in our E Town League with ten guys. So I like him even more where I'm getting him here. And Cook and Thielen are the one two in that offense. Obviously, there's going to probably be days where one of them does not perform and I get screwed on one end, but I think I take my chances and I'm not going to regret my pick of my Lord and Savior Adam Thielen at <laughs> So you're cool game. you're cool with the value over the teammate thing. I think I, I I am I am cool with the value. It for my for my personal belief, my personal ranking, feel, getting Thielen there, I like it a lot. I think it makes I was sense. thinking about Russell uh, sorry, I was thinking about Russell. I was thinking about Juju, but because yeah. I, I like Juju in a big bounce back year. I was thinking about Russell, but I went. So I like Juju too, but are you like, I'm terrified that Ben's just going to be in a walking boot again. But yeah, 100%. And that's yeah, why no. I'm not trusting it. Like that's, is that not a fact? I wouldn't he's say it's be a fact, a but the, it's, a, it's a very high probability. And it's at least something uh, you need to factor into it. And I'm with you, Nick. Like, I, I think it's okay to draft teammates, especially. It, it's scary doing that early on. But if it you're is. in an offense where you funnel a lot, if all the touches go to a select few players, basically, yeah. like the Vikings offense ran through Cook, Diggs, Stealin. And right, now, exactly. and one gone. of them's gone. So right. you have to so like figure their whole. Yeah, that's like like them. you would feel fine if you could get Kamara and Thomas on the same team because those are like the two main primary guys on the on the offense. So yeah, like, no, as long no. As they're the main, I wouldn't. I wouldn't feel good with Kamara anywhere. Stop that. <laughs> What's with all this Kamara slander? Alvin Kamara. <laughs> the guy had a high ankle sprain, didn't he? Well, yeah. it, it, break. It almost comes back to like Max. I you were talking about taking like AJ Brown on your turnaround in round three because you really like him there. If I had Henry. He's a guy that I'm probably not taking. I'm not stacking Henry and, and AJ Brown. Just me. Because their offense goes one way or the other. It does, it yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It, yeah. Exactly. It's not every single game that they're with with the Vikings. Primary. If it's a Cook game, I can still probably expect six, seven, eight catches from Thielen, and I'm going to get a floor of like 10, 11 points. So I'm not going to be too too deflated. Their offense runs directly through them. So I'm taking the value there, and I'm not mad. Yeah, that makes All sense. Right. All right. Also, obviously, we didn't put rookies into here because the ADP that we're pulling from the money drafts didn't have rookies in them yet. So we didn't we didn't go ahead and put them in there. Just give me a second to look at the ADPs. I've been yelling yep. at snacks. Is Josh Jacobs yeah. still on the board? No, no. Oh, I was looking at he blue. went. Uh, he yeah, went two five. My bad. I mean, the running backs are on sleeper. Yeah, they're on there, but like you have to scroll like down. The rookies. To, like, yeah, but like yeah, you yeah, have your ADP. You can pick I'm not, them. I'm no, going to put them in here if we get to it. We're not going to put the rookies in just because they would have already went already. Like, no one's taking fucking OBJ over Jonathan Taylor in the redraft league. Well, that's true because we don't know where they are. Oh, no. no, we don't. It's just, yeah, it's kind of useless to put that right now. Snacks, what are you doing? Snacks dead? What? hope so. Why are you showing us your fucking dick? Yeah, what are you doing? Oh, I hit my screen down. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay. yeah. Jacob's little clouds. Like I've gone two wide receivers right now, and since it is super flex, I tend to want to leave the first few rounds with a uh, quarterback on my team. Unfortunately, the four guys that I, one of the four guys that I really want on my team have already gone off the board: Mahomes, Jackson, Kyler, Russell Wilson. I think there's like a very real debate to have with who is the quarterback five going into next year. A lot of people will put Dak, uh, and I do, I do like that because. Yep. Again, like Animal said, like they only he, he set career highs around the board uh, or across the board. Threw for over forty nine hundred yards last year. He gets Amari Cooper back. Now he gets Mark, Mike McCarthy there, and they threw for fifty eight percent of the passes. That is only going to go up. That was still like bottom of the league. I wouldn't be surprised if it went to like sixty two or sixty three. So I would probably think about taking Dak here just to secure my quarterback one. Other guys, I would is probably your other, is your other quarterback Josh Allen. What do you mean? You said you were you were debating between two quarterbacks. No, I didn't say that. Did you? I could have sworn you, you said, said you no. He said there's a debate at the spot for QB five. I said I meant oh, there's a debate. Oh, I thought you said there was a debate between. Oh, okay, okay, I got because you. Because from you. what I've seen so far, I feel like the consensus is that Dak is kind of the quarterback five. But I think you can make the case for for Dak as a QB five for Matt Ryan. Uh, if you want to argue the Aaron Rodgers bounce back, I think that's probably a little bit too high for me. We yeah. also have some landing spots left for guys like Cam and Jameis that will kind of shape up the position overall. So I think about Dak here. Uh, we don't really have that many good running backs left that I'm probably going to reach out for right now. Uh, and of course, we're not including rookies. Otherwise, they would probably be on the board. I want nothing to do with Le'Veon Bell, who people are probably going to want me to draft right now. Wide receivers, I'm definitely thinking about a guy like A.J. Brown. 
Uh, I'm thinking about probably a little bit too early for Cortland Sutton. J- Juju definitely scares me a little bit. I think just because the uncertainty of the players left on the board, I would rather just get a player that I know is going to be good for me in a super flex league. And I will go. Yeah. It's with, a no brainer for me. Yeah. I will go with Dak here because you, you, you know, you have another pick and two picks. So if you want to get a skill guy, take one then, you know, at the, uh, yeah. the four, two, that's yeah. where you, you make your move. Josh Allen's better than Dak. Yeah. I would disagree with that. Fantasy wise, he's going to be better. Top five this year. You think Josh yeah. Allen's going top five? Yeah, he's gonna be, he, he knows he's going to be QB5. He's got a he's great, gonna end, he's he's gonna gonna great end the year QB5. Cast. Yep. He's going to take that third year elite. Bill's going to be fucking nasty this year. But then again, he might suck, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'm not actually sure if he sucks or not, to be honest. I don't think he's a very good quarterback. I just love his running ups. He, I mean, think about it. That guy. How far has Deshaun Watson plummeted? Because oh, man, I don't think I would, he would go. I'm not, I'm not. Fuck that. No, right? I'm not touching him. I dealt with his fucking headaches last year while he had DeAndre Well, he had DeAndre. Yeah. Fuck yeah. that. Fuck that. Scott, leave this part in. Deshaun Watson, I don't care if he's in a super flex league. Fuck that. Are we, uh, we cutting it at three rounds here? Want to do one more? Uh, we only well, the only problem is the note. time. We got literally less than a minute. On, on Zoom. Yeah. All right, so uh, we're going to have to – yeah, th- that's three rounds. We're going to have to cut this out because we've got a minute left on Zoom because my cheap ass uh, has not upgraded to the pro <laughs> account yet. I promise uh, to get better at the streaming thing remote location-wise. Let's yeah, hope we it, don't if, have to. If somehow time. you enjoyed this, yeah, hopefully we can get together soon. If somehow you enjoyed this, make sure that you hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are new. And follow everything Fade the Public on Twitter. Uh, what do you mean snap- somehow you enjoyed it? This was great. This is fucking terrible. This is easily it's, the worst video we've ever put out. It's not even close. Well, 100%, but that, that, that just means... I think that's, that's what makes it great. Yeah. Okay, so they have subpar standards. I want excellence on every fucking piece of content. If you demand preparation, if you demand effort, if you demand integrity, then the day will come when you can catch excellence, and excellence is the key to success. I want goddamn featured films every time, but we're going to have to do this live from the dungeon, live from the headquarters. Live we're going to have a herd of goats coming out soon, too. Just throw that out there. Maybe. We'll see no, about it's happening. That. It's going to happen just like this. Same exact format. Okay. I would rather do that than this. Let's do that at like midnight when we're all a little bit delusional and drunk or something. I'm down. Deal? Deal. Yeah, love that. All right. Love you guys. Bye.